all right guys for kagi here and welcome back to the brand new video let's go straight to the topic on today's video we're gonna talk about we're gonna do a review of gina and as well brand new sang jimbu weapon wind weapon which is extremely broken like i'm also heavily impressed with gina okay i'm heavily impressed with her as well so i will do a full review we're gonna go in detail analysis for what everything we know for now uh definitely we will get more informations when she will be out officially we're gonna know more percentages etc but still i can tell you right away even before we start in my opinion just a must-have support for the fire element and not only that she's a hybrid in my eyes definitely mainly as a support but as you get dupes as well she'll become dps as well okay here now you're watching the brief showcase of her skills and she just looks incredible and i absolutely love her now the bitrate is a little bit weird on their live stream so yeah it might look not the best quality but at the end of the day this is the gina <laughs> costume and it looks incredible bro it looks incredible her attacks are so so stylish and when you have in combination emma and her and yosu hyun for example or choi oh boy she will be a perfect for that she will be perfect she's exactly what we need exactly what we need okay let me go straight now to the actual analysis uh, b -b 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 let me go a little bit here actually so you i will put the live stream and you can check out the actual gameplay but for now we're, we're going to be more focused on the actual description uh so basic attack firestorm so she'll be a fire typing mage if you didn't know mainly support but as well providing dps really good dps not like mean dps or uh fisher dps no no bigger okay she actually works from attack okay scales from attack so gina uses the telekinesis to hurl bullets and spears at enemies that's a basic attack firestorm the final hits inflicts attack uh, inflicts airborne for attack force descent gina manipulates gravity to attack her enemies the final hit knocks down the target then we have the support skill gina fires fires an orb that inflicts airborne when this skill is used active body retrogate and create a gravitational field that damage uh, damages enemies and inflicts halt body retrogate means restore hp equal to gina's attack and charges the power gauge of all team members over time okay that alone is insane and she can as well halt that's really good halt means stops all enemies for several seconds that's really really good a qt after amplifying sorry it's really late her mana power to an orb gina fires off a bean of magic now here i believe we have more better explanation here okay furthermore so let me go into that skill one gravitation gravitational mass uh, gina sends a gravity sphere that explodes in direction she's facing inflicts airborne skill two path of ex ex uh, extinction gina fires off a beam of magic in direction she is facing then uses a magic orb to fire off enhanced magic beam as follow-up now channel skill and applies counter current con continuously while channeled we're gonna talk about that in a moment and then we have here the ultimate gina rises and gathers strength into a sphere of light to create a powerful explosion inflicts airborne and creates gravita gravitational field that deals additional damage and act with halt uh, when enemies touch it okay again stop it for a few seconds now this is where a craziness is happening so passive details when force descent gravitational mass or path of this extinction is used activate counter current effect when the maximum of number of counter current effect is reached apply mana circulation to all team members so pretty much when you're gonna use those already mentioned things you you're gonna get counter current you're gonna max it out i believe really fast 
and you're gonna apply that a mana circulation to the team that means increase attack and fire damage after creating a gravitational field apply body retro gauge uh great gate uh, effects to all uh, team members so body retro great uh, restores hp and charges the power gauge over time so she'll be buffing attack fire damage uh restore hp give you the power gauge with a zero now a one when mana circulation is active uh, also activates mana transformation grants a shield based on percentage of attack increase damage dealt and decrease damage taken this will give her that slight dps uh, that shield which will scale from your attack higher attack more damage reductions she's gonna have more punches she's gonna be able to do to take okay and decrease damage taken again she's gonna be able to tank that damage uh, increase the shield effect by a certain percentage on the a2 when a shield is granted to a team member increase their damage dealt by a certain percentage a2 like bro her dupes oh my god uh, that's now A3. Gravitational mass creates a gravitational field effect and applies gravity boost to targets by gravitational mass. Gravitational field deals a percentage of the skill's damage, interrupts the target, and increases the target's fire damage taken. A3 is such a beautiful, beautiful thing to have for her. 100%. That interruption will be so coming in clutch and that fire damage taken again coming extremely in, cl in clutch if you already know she's increasing that attack and she's increasing that fire damage and as well she's healing and adding the power guide guys this is extremely broken support increase all team members defense penetration by a certain percentage this effect is increased for fire element teal members and then a5 when a gravitational field is created it activates the space time gap effect Increased damage of Path of Extinction, the damage is further increased when the target is affected by Gravity Boost. Now just to double check... Yeah, skill 2 is that pa pa Path of Extinction. Okay, she's, she's gonna do a massive damage with those for 100%. Uh, the range is, by the way, beautiful. I mean, I can share, like, for example, Path of Extinction. So this is now start of the battle. I need to show you that now. Just so you see her gameplay. That's absolutely insane right here. Uh, what a nice range. So much uh, beneficial, and it, it, gather, it gathers them together. That's like a gravitational pull as well. She can manipulate the actual positioning of the enemies, which is really nice. And she's constantly messing them, messing up uh, with them and just like destroying all the positions and all of that. And now look at this attack. This is the ultimate, by the way. Okay, nice. She's adding that. And now she can do this. Come on, do it. Please, please, please. Okay, this is the skill, the Q skill. And now look at this power, bro. This is where she's gonna do massive damages, okay? This is where A5 will be like explosion. That's what I, I if I understand it correctly, but I believe I did. So she'll be providing a lot, guys. Now, I already know you'll be like about the dupes, how far you should go. Well, at A0 ready, she needs to be tested out, but at A0 she'll be already providing insane support for your fire units. Insane support. With the power gauge, uh, with the restoring HP, with increasing attack and fire, so if you're really low and you want to save future characters, like A0 is fine, but that A1, that A2, that A3, beautiful. Like A1 again, A3 and A5. Usually that's how it goes, and these are the positions where she goes nuts. But this time I would say that that pretty much on every advancement level it's 100% worth getting for her. So if you feel you can afford it, or if you feel like you can go that far, A5 is worth it at the end of the day. But still, it's the beginning. Definitely my tip to you guys is to wait out and see the testings and everything else. 
Uh, but yeah, she she'll be broken support and a like definitely summon for her. You can stop when you get her and then think about it, see the testing, see the showcases, and then decide how far will you go. Okay, but I can tell right away before the showcases, she's one hundred percent worth it. A zero already will will be a nice thing, but if you want to get that bigger DPS and um, more interruptions. Even big that that H three guys is where you can easily easily stop and she'll be doing everything what you need from her. Okay, so that H three is a good stoppage for for everyone at the end of the day. But again, it really depends on your account. So I can't go into crazy detail. Uh, now let me talk about the uh, well, Demon King's daggers, wind weapon from for Sang Jin Vu. Basic attack, Sang Jibu swings his dagger quickly, so deals increasing wind damage. Core attack deals high wind damage, so core attack really good. Weapon skill cracking thunder. Sang Jibu charges towards and slashes through his targets. The first hit of uh, this ability inflicts paralysis on the target. That's really broken and will be coming in clutch. Now, what I forgot to tell you is the Gina weapon. So, increase the user's attack when mana circulation is activated, all team members recover MP and increases their attack and fire damage and it can stack up, okay? Just that one addition again, she'll be providing like insanities. Uh, let's get real. So, now we have the passive details for Demon King's daggers. Two as one effect is applied when daggers are equipped. The critical hit rate and critical hit damage of Crackling Thunder increase by certain percentage. The damage of Crackling Thunder scales with Sang Jin Vu's strength. Uh, A1. After using Crackling Thunder, the user can perform another more powerful version of Crackling Thunder at once as a follow-up attack. Crackling Thunder applies the concentrated lighting effect. This weapon, Pr uh, Prism a little bit showcased it, um, I mean to really high extent actually and it is just busted guys without reading all of this oh my god it is fast the movements and everything else yeah i will show you in a moment a few segments uh cracking thunder okay concentrate lighting stacks every second and a bonus stack is added when attacking when the maximum number of concentrated lighting stacks it is reached it is replaced by lighting rush effect if the user uses Cracking Thunder while under the effect of Lighting Rush, increase the skill damage by a percentage. So this is now all blah, 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 blah. This really needs to be tested out and see. Uh, the gameplay is even more important, but overall, what this means, freaking high damage <laughs> for 100%. You have this insane passive, insane passive, uh, and insane A1 already, insane A1 already. We have A2, which is increased wind damage, fine. A3 has to enhance to as one concentrated lighting and lighting rush. Increase the damage of crackling thunder. Concentrated lighting effect stacks every second. All st at st attacks add a bonus instance of concentrated lighting. To affect inst instances are gained when applying lighting rush. Now, will this weapon do a bigger damage than West Wind? I still don't think so. <laughs> But probably yes, I guess, on the that A5, but not 1 million percent sure, honestly. Not 1 million percent sure. But definitely it will be more practical to use. It will be extremely fast and everything else, okay? Uh, A4, Crackling Thunder, cooldown decreased by certain percentage. And then A5, Crackling Thunder is further enhanced. So you get that increased wind damage, area of effect, says size increase. <laughs> Charging distance increase and the skill damage increase. Okay, I definitely think that this weapon will start shining at A1. Uh, but at A0, I believe it will be still impressive. Just because how it works when you use it. And A3 to A5, just it explodes with everything. Now, let me show you. Uh, here it is. At the same time, we have a little bit of workshop or billion light here. But I want to show you this weapon a little bit in action. So it needs to be tested out. Um, for now, it's only words to me. But when I see this craziness, look at this. 
look at the style of attack now have in mind this bara now has an armor so don't take don't look too much on the damage until you get a feeling and everything else but it is so fast it is so insane but it really depends also how you play with it to get those stacks and everything else but i'm i'm impressive i'm i'm really impressed with this weapon and i believe definitely it will be super important for this baron of, Wor of workshop of brilliant light but i still also think that west wind will work just fine <laughs> I, I i honestly think that but we're gonna see how practical it is to use okay let me see will he use it one more time just so you see it this those attacks now he should have went for the plum and then use this yeah but this does massive damage we're just at the cutscene it's massive damage uh, okay guys uh, that's it uh, hopefully you did enjoy it make sure to support me in content creator program Bo Gina and uh, the new Sang Jin Wu weapon our Demon's uh, King's daggers are extremely broken in my eyes um, Gina for the fire support and then that daggers for the crazy wind damage against Baron so definitely you can go for them if you ask me make sure to support me uh i also talked about the advancements so not everyone should go to a5 all of those right uh so be careful it's on you who you want to save in future or summon for future in future and everything else okay i need to go to sleep now it's 5 a.m uh, i'll be back on the update massive shout out to my top supporters thank you for all support and yeah see you next one bye